Hey guys, what's going on? It's Lefty from 643 Productions back again with another video commentary. And uh, this is a little bit late to the party, as usually are most of my videos on quote YouTube drama. I usually like to take a little bit of time to soak in the whatever, the incident, and, and soak in uh, the reasonings for, or, or the reasoning behind what happened, what was said, who did what, whatever, all that stuff. And, and I usually come out with my opinion on it. You know, I'm not one of those people racing uh, to be the top of the sub box to, to um, you know, talk about this. Not that there's anything wrong with that. It's just personally, from my personal perspective, I like to think things through and uh, formulate my opinion and really formulate my thoughts so that when I come out with a video, it's, you know, it's, I don't know, I have something to say. I'm not just kind of regurgitating information and then thinking about it through the video and then finally coming to a conclusion at the end of it. I, I usually have a set path in my head. It's just a personal preference. Nothing wrong with the people that do. Nothing at all wrong. But Wings of Redemption, a few days ago, at the beginning of the week or over the weekend, was on the receiving end of a whole lot of hate, once again, for his fallout uh, with, the, with Jay Nasty concerning some 6v6. I, I remember I remember originally when it went down, I wasn't really following it, uh, so I don't know who exactly said what, but it got to the point where Jay Nasty and Wings of Redemption were set to have a 6v6, Wings, is, Wings and his crew versus Jay Nasty and his crew, and Wings pulled out. He put out a video. He said, hey, I'm not going to do it. And, uh, of course, thankfully, Wings, I think, uh, disabled comments and ratings uh, on that video, and uh, and I think that was a smart choice. Because I know Wings, he's a very visceral kind of guy, and just the the sheer amount of hate that would have been just so focused. He still gets a lot of hate, but the hate focused on that video, I think, would have been just unbearable. But uh, I want to talk about what happens in YouTube when you predicate your channel on one thing. Now, I will say this. Wings of Redemption got himself into that mess. I, I don't remember exactly what was said, but I remember from just scanning Twitter uh, that night when it was like, oh, 1v1 me, or Jay Nasty said something about a 1v1, and then Wing said something about a 1v1 is doesn't prove anything, and then he said 6v6, you, your 6 versus, or your 5 versus my 5, <clears throat> or you and your 5 versus me and my 5, something like that. And it was Wings of Redemption who originally um, brought up the idea of a 6v6. So he got himself into it, and I mean... I, there's nothing else I can say about that. I'm not here to try to be like, oh, it was all Jay Nasty's fault, leave Wings alone, all that stuff. Wings, Wings a big boy. He got himself uh, into a situation, and, and he thought it was he, – he took a step back, and he thought about it, and he said, no, nah, not for me. And I'm here to explain why he thought that. Here's the thing. When you predicate your channel, when you build your entire channel around one thing, you can't do anything else. You just can't do it. Somebody that plays nothing but Call of Duty, Call of Duty all the time, 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 can't upload anything else. They can't. They just can't do it. Look at look at any anybody else trying to branch out. Look at the growing pains they go through. Look at all the all the heartache, all the things they have to go through because they make videos just like everybody else. They make videos to get watched, to get views. And when they don't get views, it's it sucks. And look at all the growing pains that all these people have to go through. Same thing with Wings of Redemption. Wings of Redemption is predicated, for the most part, his channel on being good at video games, specifically being good at Call of Duty. And this is why the Syndicate thing was such a big deal when it happened last year, because Wings of Redemption, who up to that point had told anybody and everybody about the game and how to be good at it because he's good at it, all of a sudden appeared not to be so good at it. And that is what he was setting himself up for with this 6v6. Now, I have to applaud Wings because he took a step back and he said, meh, I'm not going to win. He knew. He said, I'm not. I, I'm going to lose. I'm probably going to get my ass handed to me. Now, you know, why is that? Is it because he's actually bad at the game? Is it because he's actually, well, that's not, that's not important. That's not a material fact. I know a lot of people that hate Wings are just going to try to pout out, you know, puff out their chest and be like, oh, see, it's proof. Da, 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 da. It's, it's, just shut up with that. Okay, he, whatever, whatever you want to say about him. He sucks. He's fat. He's whatever. Okay feel good about yourself by kicking a guy that that obviously um where uh, pours out his emotion on youtube but okay uh but that's why he did that that's why wings took took a look at at that situation which again he got himself into not defending that but i can understand and i can commend wings for saying yeah it's it's it would be more trouble than it's worth 
whatever happened, because especially considering he he said I'll probably lose, and that happens. And when you predicate your channel on being good at Call of Duty, when you lose at Call of Duty, everybody and and look at look at it this way: look at anybody else that does anything else. This isn't just wings. This isn't just being good at Call of Duty. Jay Nasty would have the same problem, same problem if he would have lost. If Wings would have somehow beaten Jay Nasty, Jay Nasty would have had the same exact problem as Wings of Redemption. Same exact problem. Same thing with all these MLG guys that are doing YouTube, too. All these guys that are saying, look how good I am at the game, look how good I am at the game, I'm MLG, MLG. When they lose, they get in trouble. Look at me. I predicated my channel on being an intellectual. Same thing with Hutch. Go look at my comments. Go look at his comments section. All of their, uh, what haters I have and what haters Hutch have are all, all of them, people trying to out-intellect him, out, out trying to out-intellect me. People hang on every single word I say, trying to look for any impropriety they can to try to say, oh, I'm, 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 got him, got him. See, he was so intellectual. Look, I got him now. That son of a bitch, god dang it. And that's what happens. That's what happens in YouTube. So I applaud Wings for having the balls to say, nah, fuck it. He got, a, he, he got himself into it. He got himself into the mess. Don't, I mean, he's a big guy. Big boy got himself into a predicament of his own making, but the way he handled it, I think, was the best for him emotionally, at least from an, from an emotional standpoint. Because were he to lose, just like were he to lose, it would be just the same as uh, T. Martin getting a spot wrong, screwing up something terribly in terms of, oh, this sight line creating, you know, fabricating something, uh, some tip or trick. It would just, it would be like me uh, 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 missing material fact after material fact when I'm talking about something. And just a, just a commentary where I'm completely talking out of my ass, which is most of them. But, <laughs> but a commentary where I, I, I miss, uh, you know, material fact, material fact, material fact, and I'm just not firing on, on anything. That would be the same exact thing. When you predicate your channel on something, that something becomes... What everybody looks to to one up you at. Everybody constantly tries to one up wings and Jay Nasty in terms of score, in terms of kill to death ratio, in terms of win to loss ratio. Everybody's always trying to one up Hutch. I mean, I don't mean to throw my hand, but you know, Hutch is the nearest is the biggest analogy that I can make. Everybody's trying to constantly one up Hutch and myself in terms of being an intellectual. And so on and so forth. When you predicate your channel on something on YouTube, people con people seize on that something, and they try their hardest, whatever they have to do, whether it be fake it, whether they lie, whether they cheat, lie, beg, borrow, and steal, whatever they got to do, they're gonna try to one up you with that. And I, we're ignoring for the moment how the situation came to be, but just the handling of it, I have to I have to applaud Wings for saying, eh, it's gonna be more trouble than it's worth because it is. That's the way it is on YouTube. But anyway, guys, that's my time. I got to get out of here. Thank you for joining. I hope you enjoyed. Be sure to drop a like on this video. If you did enjoy, remember likes, favorites, comments, and shares via Facebook and Twitter do help me out. Thank you guys for joining. I hope you enjoyed. I am out.